Hey there, my name is Sandy McAlpine and I'm a realtor in North and South Carolina and I cover Myrtle Beach, Polly's Island and the coast. And right now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about buying investment property at the beach. Key tips for buying in Myrtle, Polly's, Surfside, Myrtle's Inlet. You really want to know the location. You want prime beach location because they yield better rental income. If you're looking at renting the property, you need to know what locations yield the most money. Also, flood and hurricane risk. You should understand the flood risk or the hurricane risk, checking flood zones, and also hurricane insurance costs. They actually went up a little bit due to Hurricane Florence recently. So um, HOA dues can be really high in some of the properties that I've been showing some buyers. Maintenance. You, beach re properties require a lot more upkeep due to salt and sand. So you want to make sure to see what kind of maintenance is covered in the HOA dues of these investment properties. Or if it's a home without an HOA, you want to make sure that you understand the cost to maintaining these properties. Seasonality. You have to understand that peak and off season, peak off peak seasons for rental income that you're most likely going to make a majority of your money during the summer months and that during the winter you might have a lot of vacancy. Local laws. You need to be aware of rental regulations and taxes. South Carolina has several taxes that they charge investment owners. Market research. Analyze the local real estate market for trends. You want to see which buildings are doing better. You need to ask your agent to give you the rent rolls for certain units and try to understand what's happening, what has happened, you know, the vacancy rate between property from property to property. You also want a rental strat strategy. You want to decide between short-term vacation rentals or long-term leases or even midterm. And what I mean by that is I get off to get people asking me a lot of times that they want to rent out their property and get the maximum usage of it and the lowest vacancy rate, but they also want to use it sometimes. So we need to discuss what type of rental strategy you'll be using in order to be able to use your property. And also you need an exit strategy, having a plan for selling or repurposing the property in the future. So in order to invest wisely, you need to hook up with a great real estate agent that understands all of these things. I also own my own rentals and properties in Myrtle Beach. So if you have any questions about how it works, please reach out to me.